Hello everybody, my name is Sam and today I'm going to be showing you how to run build tools from Spigot MC on a Jenkins server. Um, doing this allows you to create a like continuous building thing that will automatically build your server um, at a set time and I'll show you how to do it at a set time as well. So at first we're going to, you're going to have to have an, um, Jenkins installed as well as Git. Um, and Java 8, um, there is, I'll put a link in the description on how to get Java 8 on any, like, uh, Ubuntu, I think it's 12.04 to 14.04, something like that, um, and get is just app get or whatever, install get, easier. So, once you've got all that installed, you need to click create new jobs. Okay, once you've done that, you want to click freestyle project. And type a name, so build tools, and then click OK. So I don't know why mine's taking you out. There we go. Just thinking about it. So first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to scroll down until we find build periodically. Now, if you don't want it to run um, automatically, you just want to schedule it or build it whenever you want to, then skip this step. So H zero star star star. That will cause it to run at midnight whenever it suits. So it will run sometime around midnight whenever the server is using least resources. So this basically takes the load off the server. If you want it to just compile any time of the day, you don't really care what time it compiles. You just change that to an H and then update and see it would have compiled at 4 a.m. Um, I'm going to put it like that. I like it going doing it at midnight. So... Next thing we want to go is we want to go down to add build step, um, execute shell. Okay, so now we've got this, we're going to need to head over to the Jenkins Spigot MC build tools. So you want to go to this link here and click on build tools. And then we're just going to want to right click on this link right here and copy link address. When we have come back here, we need to type in wget and paste a link to that. Dash big zero and then build tools jar. So this script here will automatically get the latest version of build tools if it has been updated. So you never have to worry about updating it manually. Press enter, you've got a new line. Now this line, we're going to be telling it to build um, spigot in bucket. So if you want the latest version, then you just type in java dash jar build tools dot jar. Um, and then it will always build the latest version. If you want a custom version, you type dash dash rev space and then like the version. Now it can be anywhere from 1.8 um, to newer versions um, that'll pass this video. At the time of recording, we have 1.8.8. So I'm just going to set it to that version. And then we want to click add post build action, archive the artifacts. Okay, now we want to type in star dash star dot jar. This is telling it to save any file that begins with whatever, has a dash, and then whatever, and ends with .jar. So the output files are actually, um, let me just, there. the output files are like this. So we're telling it to ha if there's anything here or anything here, it will automatically save it. So basically this is going to save bucket and spigot. So now that I've got all that working, um, I'm just going to save it. Now, if you want to automatically update to the newer versions, you just remove that there. Pretty easy. I'll have a link to this code in the description. It's fairly simple um, and straightforward. So I'm just going to save it now. And now we have project build tools. Um, since I've scheduled it to build at midnight, it will automatically build. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to click build now. And it's going to start. There we go. And I'm going to click on this. And now, enjoy some lovely music while I speed it up. You're too That's finally finished. Um, sorry it took a while. Um, it 
took a couple of minutes on my medium range uh, private server. Um, so I'm just going to scroll right back up to the top here and click back to project. And if you notice here, we now have spigot and craft bucket, and you can download those. Um, if you hop back into configure, um, if you want to change it to like another time of the day, you just change this digit to um, an hour and 24 hour time. So like if I wanted to do it at 8 o'clock in the afternoon, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'd do that. If I want to do it at 8 o'clock at night, I think it's 20. Um, yeah, it's 20 for 8 o'clock, 21 for 9, 22, yeah, you get the idea. Zero is midnight, easy way to remember. Um, so now I can go ahead and download either of these files. It will automatically compile them at midnight. Uh, and see, both of them should be working. Yep, they both are downloading. And, um, yeah, you don't need to worry about manually compiling it on your computer. You can even just go into your servers and copy the link to this. Uh, if you're using Linux, just double you get it. Easy, simple as. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. Um, and also... You're not going to get into my Jensen's because I made a special domain. You're not supposed to have this. See? So I'm going to I'm gonna delete the domain as soon as I finish recording. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day.